Well, you guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create your own bootable recovery partition inside Windows 7. So let's get started. So first off, we want to come down to the Start button, right-click on Computer, and then go Manage. This is going to open up the Computer Management window. Then go to Disk Management, and you can see we've got our partitions here. The C drive has got 50 gigs on it. Yours may have more. I'm going to shrink this down and create an unallocated partition. Okay, so what we need to do here now is have about 4 gigs of space. So I'm going to type in 4096, hit shrink. And there we have our 4 gigabytes of unallocated space. Right click on that and create a new simple volume. Select the letter you want to actually assign to it, so you can do whatever letter you like. I'm going to do X, go Next. I'm going to call mine Recovery, go Next and Finish. There we have our Recovery Partition now, so we can close this off. So what we want to do now is get a Windows CD, Windows 7. I'm going to snap that to the left, open up a computer again, open up the recovery and snap that to the right. Now we want to copy all the files from our Windows CD into our recovery partition. So we're just going to highlight these and drag them across. Okay, so that's our files now copied over. So we can now close these off. Now you're going to need a free tool called EasyBCD. As long as it's for non-commercial use you can get the free version. Just register here and download this and install it on your system. I've already got mine installed. Now what we want to do here is click on Add New Entry. Then we want to come down to where it says WinPE. Click on that. I'm going to call this recovery. And then inside path, we need to locate our files. So I'm going to go computer, recovery, which is our recovery partition, sources, and then point it to the boot.wim. And there you can see it there. We want to add that entry. It should say added successfully. Close this off and now when we reboot the system we'll have an option on our boot up menu saying recovery and Windows 7 and you can just choose which one you want. Now if you want to reinstall Windows you just click on recovery. So let's give this a go and see what it looks like. Let's restart the system. And there you can see we have Windows 7 and Recovery. Now if we hit Recovery, this is going to allow us to um, go into our Windows CD and boot that up and reinstall Windows. And this will actually boot to our Windows desktop. So let's go to Recovery. And there you have it. So it just got, starts to install Windows. We can click on install windows and that will install windows onto our machine. So that's basically how you do it. Let's get back to the desktop. And we'll just push Windows 7 here. And there you have it. So I hope this video really helps you out guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So that's basically how you create a bootable recovery partition inside Windows 7. Now if you enjoyed this video then hit the like button guys. That really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. And I shall see you again in the next video. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.